In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, reflow a graphics chip. Uh, and this is an IBM T40, and the issue is that it freezes and or will not start. No video. It may have video. So there is no video. Uh, sometimes this, this particular laptop will start, but it will freeze like three seconds later. So we're going to reflow the graphic GPU on this on the Bird 5000. Okay, the board's been stripped down. Uh, I'm not going to get involved in uh, demonstrating how to dis assemble, disassemble, because there's uh, tons of videos out there you can look up to see how to uh, work on the laptop that you, in that particular model. Um, in this case here, I'm going to prepare the board for reflow, but I want to just point out that there's some, on some spots that may have uh, some uh, plastic insulation tape, like there, and I know from experience that that will shrivel, so I'm going to remove that. And also... Um, what I did uh, to you know provide board support is very important that you you have to have some type of support for the board. Otherwise, with the heat, it will warp and bend and will break more connections. So what I did is just to simply modify. This is a PS3 small board support from Dragon Group China, and uh, basically customized it by drilling holes through it, lining up with the points that I want. To support the board with and because these holes are a little bigger than the motherboards holes themselves I have to drill through them slightly to accommodate the board so and I'll do that by uh, marking where I have to drill this one here 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 and here I prepared the board for the reflow and mounted it on the support. Uh, I like to use uh, for insulation this tape is uh, available for purchase at say Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, it's heavy duty aluminum foil tape and the reason I like to use it is because it's very versatile, it's reusable and it does not stick to uh, components when you go to remove it. A lot of times with uh, the real thin foil tape uh, you'll pieces of it will remain when you peel it off and they're difficult to get off and they can cause shorts so I prefer to use a heavy duty tape and I'm going to bathe the chip in no resin no residue flux very important you do need to flux these also too I wanted to point out I had to drill holes to accommodate the screws for the support in any good shop, you should have an air compressor available if you're working with computers because you need to blow dust away. So the same idea is after I drill the holes, <clears throat> I uh, cleaned everything off with an air compressor to get bits of copper off that could stick somewhere on the board and cause a short. So the next step will be to put this on the machine and run it. The board is in place on the machine under the lamp. And if you're wondering, these are custom modifications I experimented with uh, in an effort to cool the board off faster after the procedure is done. Uh, if you're in a busy shop, it takes you know about a half hour maybe before you 20 minutes to uh, be able to pick the board up and use it. So at the end of the procedure, I uh, raise the lamp and start these fans. These are case cooler fans from uh, PC and Dragon Group China engineers are looking at this so possibly be adding a feature down the road on future machines. So my profile is all set to go. Bird is hooked up to a laptop here. I'm going to run the profile. And we'll give the details of the profile later. Uh, so, But this is the same exact profile I use for uh, reflow on Xbox 360, PS3, and it works with laptops too. So what I do is run this profile three times. And then let the board cool, and then we'll test fire it. Okay, the reflow ran three times and it's complete. I'm just letting my fans run. Cool everything down, and once it's cool, I will take the board off and fire it up. And will, the problem will be gone. Okay, the reflow has been completed three times and uh, partially reassembled. We'll test the video. It should take a while to show anything because the CMOS battery was removed, so computer but there we go should want to give me an error that the clock setting is wrong in a minute that's it
up top repaired on the one and only Bird 5000. And finally, the laptop has been totally reassembled. We'll start it up. I know this one doesn't have a valid operating system on it, so I'm going to run Factory Restore Utility. And as you can see, it is repaired.